Hey guys, in this lesson we will deal with theory of natural selection from the topic evolution. This is presented by me, Yogita Khandelwal. So in our previous lesson, we talked about the Darwinism, the theory of biological evolution given by Darwin. And in this, we are continuing with theory of natural selection that is proposed jointly by Darwin and Wallace. So Wallace and Darwin came on the same conclusion around the same period of time and this theory was jointly proposed by both of them. And it was explained by Darwin in his book Origin of the Species or uh, the book originally named On the Origin of the Species by Means of Natural Selection and the later it was just Origin of Species. Main features of theory of natural selection. So here are some key points of the theory of natural selection. First is overproduction and differential reproduction. So capability to produce enormous number of offsprings is overproduction. So all organisms have capability to produce enormous number of offsprings. Organisms multiply in geometric ratio for example we have plants that produce thousands of seeds insects laying hundreds of eggs but we have some other organisms also like one pair of elephant gives rise to about six offsprings so some organisms produce more offspring and others produce fewer organism or offspring so that is known as differential reproduction some producing more offspring and some producing less offspring. And the one in general and the one with more offspring and less lifespan have more chances of evolution rather than the other group. Second is struggle for existence. That is competition with other organisms for basic resources. So every individual competes with other of the either of the same species or we can say other species for basic necessities like space, shelter and food. Now that is called struggle for existence and it continues for the whole life from zygote stage to its natural death. Now we have three types of struggle for existence. So basically first is intraspecific struggle, interspecific struggle and environmental struggle. So intraspecific struggle that means the competition is between the within the species itself that's why intraspecific. So between individuals of same species. So now it is the competition between the individuals of the same species thus the competition is for same needs like food, shelter and breeding. This is most acute type of struggle because their struggle is for breeding. Second is interspecific struggle that is between these species, not within. So it is between individuals of different species. So it is the struggle between the individual of different species and it is for food and shelter. There is no uh, breeding in, in individuals of different species. So there is no competition for breeding environmental struggle between organism and their environment so this struggle is between organism and their environment and all organism we know struggle with cold heat wind rain drought and flood etc so there are some environmental conditions that we all have to go through we all have to struggle through the, those conditions that is the environmental struggle so we have three types of struggles next feature is variations and heredity according to darwin the variations are continuous and adaptive variations would be passed on to the next generation now we know that except the identical ten no individuals are similar and their requirements are almost also not the same it means there are differences among the individuals and these differences are called the variations. And due to variations, some individuals would be better adjusted towards the surrounding than the others. 
Now, according to Darwin, the variations are continuous and uh, which are helpful and those which are helpful in the adaptation of an organism towards its surrounding would be passed on to the next generation that are adaptive variations while others which are useless thus just will disappear. So that's why adaptive ability is inherited so that adaptive variations are inherited and it has a genetic basis. Next is survival of the fittest or natural selection. Now, the original idea of survival of the fittest was proposed by Herbert Spencer. Fitness is the end result of, of the ability to adapt and get selected by nature. So, according to Darwin, most suitable and fit individuals are successful in struggle for existence. So, they struggle uh, and they are most suitable and fit. And the individuals with most favorable adaptations uh, are able to lead more successful life and are able to win over their mating partners. So here we can see this sexual selection. And in the struggle of existence, only those members survive which possess a useful variations. Means nature selects fit individual. That is the survival of the fittest or the natural selection. And the fitness is the end result of the ability to adapt and thus get selected by nature. Origin of new species continuous natural spe uh, selection causes speciation. So Darwin explained that variations appearing, appearing due to environmental changes are transmitted to the next generation. So offspring become different from ancestors and in next generation process of natural selection repeats so after many generations or continuous natural selection, we have a new species is formed or we have speciation. Now criticism for Darwinism. So obviously uh, Darwin's are, the theory of Darwin is also criticized for following points. Small and continuous variation can cause origin of variety, not species. So, he talked that or, uh, the species originated with small and continuous variation. He didn't talk about the discontinuous variation that is mutation. So, he didn't give the idea of the discontinuous variation in the origin of species. So, that's why his idea was criticized. Unable to explain presence of vestigial organs. So, why vestigial organs are present in individuals? So, he had no explanation for that. Unable to explain over specialization of some organ like tusk of elephant and antlers of deer. Unable to explain arrival of fittest. So he, he explained survival of fittest but he was unable to explain arrival of fittest. Lack of knowledge of heredity. So he completely lacked the knowledge of heredity and he proposed the theory of pangenesis in some pan genes that... Uh, are produced by individual orga organs carry the information and they are passed through bloodstream to the gametes and just to the next generation so there was a uh, completely lack of the actual knowledge of heredity that was the main drawback of this theory and no satisfactory explanation for the cause origin and inheritance of variation and unable to explain why in a population only few individuals develop useful variation and others have harmful variation. So that's all for this lesson. We will continue with examples of natural selection in our next lesson. Thanks for watching.